all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hello and welcome to this week's top five school teams of the weekend and we have some epic stuff to get through this weekend. What an absolute brilliant set of games we had over the course of the weekend. It was just so cool. We were lucky to be at a couple of them. Before we get into it all though, just as usual, please a reminder from me to hit that subscribe button. It makes such a big difference and if you can hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we have a new video, that makes all the difference as well. Of course, do head over to our social media channels, Twitter, Instagram, etc. It's all on at NextGen15, that's at NextGenXV. And of course, head to the website www.nextgen15.com, nextgenxv.com. We've got loads of content going up at the moment, including a bucket load of live streams. Hopefully, a couple of the teams in this week's top five are going to be appearing quite soon on the live stream as well. But on to the top five. This week's top five got quite a lot of really good teams in there a couple perhaps that you might not have expected to be there we've got one returning from last week loads and loads of different sides what it does do is reflect that it was a really sensational weekend of school rugby there was some absolutely brilliant stuff um, some dramatic late comebacks you may have seen our live stream game had a really late comeback one of those is reflected in this top five as well there was just so much to talk about almost impossible for us to pick five but we promise you five, so five it is. First up, it's Clifton College. And remember, these are in no particular order, just alphabetical, there's no ranking from one to five. Clifton College make it after the most dramatic of late victories against Wellington College. Down in the last play of the game, Sam Worsley steps up with the drop goal, landed six from six kicks as well a sensational performance from him but a sensational performance from Clifton College that's eight wins from eight their last three victories have been Wellington Sherbourne and Hartbury College they've got Marlborough College coming up they've got Bromsgrove and they've got a huge game against Millfield Clifton College have put themselves in contention to go and win the Daily Mail trophy to have that unbeaten season you yeah, know they're right there in contention they've got three games left in which to do it and I tell you what, they are playing fantastically well. Eight wins from eight. They are looking brilliant. You only have to look at what they've done recently, but also what they did before half term, you know, beating rugby school. No one else has managed that. They've been absolutely sensational. We are very hopeful to be able to announce a live stream for one of those big games coming up soon as well. We've just got to get a few I's dotted and T's crossed. Fingers crossed, eh? Up next, Oakham School, who had just a brilliant victory at the weekend. 50 points to 19 against Bedford. This is a Bedford School side, remember, that have put in some brilliant performances of their own. Oakham, though, we perhaps should have expected this. Their season's been a bit disrupted by COVID and cancellations and stuff. So their record going into this was sort of quite a close 1-4, loss 3. It's now 1-5, loss 3. And I'll tell you what, we shouldn't have allowed ourselves to be misled by that sort of relatively close win-loss ratio. You know, some of those losses, they lost to Sedba. They're really the only side this season that's truly challenged Sedba. People should have recognised that. We should have recognised that a bit more. You know, they've lost to rugby again, a school that almost no one has managed to beat this season. So perhaps we should have seen this coming, but it has to be said. What an epic performance from Oakham School. You know, Bedford for a strong side. And they've gone out there and put in an astonishing performance. You know, really looking forward to see what they can do over the course of the rest of the season, including their last game of the season, which is their big, big derby game against Uppingham. That'll be a cracking game on the 11th of December. Their debut in the top five this season, and so well deserved. Next up in our top five, it's Royal Hospital School. Their second week in the top five in a row. Last week we got a, a few questions about including Royal Hospital School, mainly because I think people hadn't quite appreciated quite what they've been doing. Well, perhaps they will start to appreciate now, because at the weekend they took on a big fish in the name of Felstead, and they beat them 34-25. To put that in a bit of context for you, they play them every year, and Royal Hospital School haven't scored a point against Felstead since 2016, and they haven't beaten them since 2006. So this Royal Hospital School... Seven wins from seven, and they've now beaten that big local local side, Felstead. 
really impressive work from them now they've got some big ones coming up they've got bedford school in the cup they've got framlingham they've got ipswich they've got st joseph's college three huge games there in the regular season plus those that potential cup run so it's a big test for them from now on but they have laid down a huge marker with those seven wins from seven and then by beating felstead to get into the top five for the second week in a row keep an eye out on what this side might do over the coming weeks could be defining for them but there's an awful lot of glory on the line for them they've been that good sedborough are next on our list and what a sensational performance from them at the weekend 47 8 at home against warwick you know, warwick we all know what they are historically and yes sedborough just come in with such an impressive performance yeah one of a series of impressive performances this is their third week in the top five and frankly they could easily have made the top five last week were it not for just so many options to choose from they've played seven won seven lost none unbeaten despite that sort of covid and cancellation disrupted early part of the season they've come through every test that has come their way they've got some big big games coming up wellington college and millfield in particular are going to be absolutely huge and vital to their daily mail trophy challenge you know they sit top of that table at the moment and i suspect they'll probably consider it not quite the season they wanted if they fall a bit short there and yet they are looking so good they've got every chance of doing it it's a real tussle at the top end of the schoolboy ladder at the moment some fantastic teams and sebra right up there with them leading the pack at the moment can't wait to see how they go over the course of the next few weeks finally then to trinity another sign that could easily have made this top five last week indeed they could have made it in so many weeks this season they've played 10 they've won eight they've lost just two and at the weekend they had a brilliant result beating hampton away from home hampton are a really good side anyone that saw them at st joseph's festival knows that but trinity won 38 21 away from home to make the top five for the first time this season and it's a string of three victories on the road that have really impressed us first of all kcs wimbledon you know side that have re featured regularly in our top five then epsom college another brilliant result that is that was in the cup and then hampton at the weekend yeah three really strong results in a row to make them unbeaten in six only cranley and brighton college have got the better for, of them you know brighton college of course got all the way to the st joseph's festival final so it shows the sort of quality that trinity are competing with one of their best seasons since gabriel libertoy was there you know that's what what about six seven years ago now absolutely wonderful rugby from trinity and really looking forward to seeing how they progress through to the end of the season can they maintain this because at the moment it is looking oh so impressive and by the way keep an eye out for them in the cup they've got a big derby at home against the reigning champions in effect Whitgift. it's going to be huge as ever just a total nightmare trying to narrow this down to just five teams when there are so many fantastic performances across the weekend so yeah, we like to have a look through a few of those and go into a bit more detail on a couple as well. So just to look at a few of those impressive results. St Mary's Crosby going away to AKS Lytham and winning 43-14. That's fantastic. Berkhamstead, I'll tell you what, there is a school that is doing some wonderful things this year. 54-19 at home to Northampton School for Boys. We're going to be live streaming their game against Seaford College at Stonex uh, Stadium tomorrow. Schools Cup, third round going to be a massive massive game do tune in for that from 7 p.m elsewhere birkenhead winning 57 at right against rydell penahos fantastic from them blocks them 56 5 against bishop vases grammar bishop vases have been pretty decent this season but blocks them on fire there almost got them into the top five blundells 47 12 against camford brilliant stuff from them millfield away at Cheltenham college 24 5 to maintain their unbeaten season as we've mentioned previously, some massive games coming up for them. Clifton College, Sedber, I think they've got Whitgift as well. Huge, huge games, but Millfield looking fantastic at the moment. Church's College, 58-12 against KS Southampton. Brilliant from them. Malvern College winning 31-5 at Dean Close. That really impressed us. Whitgift looking solid against Dulwich College, travelling over to uh, South East London to win 28-5. Woodhouse Grove, sort of the, the quiet assassins almost of the schoolboy season, winning 41-13 at Durham. Keep an eye on Woodhouse Grove, they're really good. Ellesmere College, 52-0 against Coldy Grange Grammar. That's just a sensational performance from them. Epsom College, a big, big win. Yeah, Coming off a disappointing result last time out to win 22-12 against Cranley. Lancaster Royal Grammar. 
they very nearly made our top five with this result. 66-5 away from home against Giggleswick. Absolutely sensational. Halebury Sutton Balance was by all accounts one of those great schoolboy encounters. Halebury just winning it 26-22, resisting the Sutton Valance comeback. Sutton Valance's first defeat of the season as well. That just shows how good that was from Halebury. Kirkham Grammar School's unbeaten run continues. Another they're almost becoming routine these, aren't they? A 32-3 win against Queen Ethelberg is fantastic from Kirkham Grammar School. I wanted to make a quick mention as well of our Friday Night Lights game. Merchant Taylors against Reading Bluecoat. An absolutely epic contest. Went right down to the final play of the game. Reading Bluecoat scored a try. They needed the conversion to win it. And Thomas David landed it for a 15-14 win. Rugby School continuing just to look utterly, utterly brilliant. A 38-13 win against Bromsgrove. Sherburn, really impressive and apparently in front of a huge crowd down there. 35-14 victory over Marlborough College. Over 400 people on the touchline. Absolutely fantastic. They very nearly made our top five with that result. Solly Hull, 54-19 against Nottingham High. Brilliant result that. St Benedict's, have you seen how high they're flying in the top five, in the top end of the Daily Mail trophy? Absolutely brilliant from them. And another victory, 24-6 against Shiplake College. Surely they've got to be in the top five at some point soon, you'd think. As of Skinner's got to be again. Skinner's with another big scalp landed. 15-3 away from home against St John's Leatherhead. That's St John's, that's Hurstby Point College, that's Tunbridge that Skinner's have beaten. Away from home, all of them. Fantastic from Skinner's. Taunton winning 48 against King Edward's Bath. Harrow winning a really tight one, 10-8 away at Tunbridge. Two cracking schools, that was a real heavyweight contest. And then Stowe, the wonderful Stowe team this year, going up to Uppingham. 26-6 win, that's actually a pretty dominant result from them. Really impressive from Stowe. Who are looking superb that's it for this week's top five though thank you so much for watching or listening however you've consumed it just another reminder to please subscribe and to hit that notification but it does make such a big difference i can't stress it enough i know it's annoying but it really does make a huge difference do give us a follow on social media at nextgenxv at nextgen15 on both instagram twitter i think facebook as well it's all the same and do of course head to the website www nextgen15.com that's nextgenxv.com got loads and loads of content going on and do look out for those live streams we've got two live streams coming up on wednesday the modus cup kings worcester against rgs worcester as well as that schools cup round three game between berkhamstead and seaford college and then we've got some big big ones in the pipeline that we're going to be announcing in due course so do stay tuned Thank you very much for watching or listening. As always, goodbye.